Sometimes our greatest inspiration comes from within ourselves. In Parshat Vayeshev, the Torah describes how Yaakov favored his son Yosef. And a reason is given, ki ben zekunim hulo, and that's because he was a child of his old age. The Baal Aturim, who is a master of Hebrew words and letters, says that we can learn from here that Yaakov taught Yosef all the lessons of the Mishnah. What an extraordinary teaching. Where does the Baal Aturim get this from? The Baal Aturim explains. You see, it comes from the words Ben Zikunim. Zikunim has five letters. The Zayn stands for Zrain, which is the first of the orders of the Mishnah, teaching us the laws of agriculture. The Kuf stands for Kodshim, the sacrificial rite. The Nun for Nashim, teaching us all the laws relating to women and marriage and divorce and so on. The Yud stands for the word Yeshua, saving relating to the way in which we need to save ourselves from the threat of being damaged as is described in Seder Nezikin. And then finally, the Mem standing for Mo'ed, which deals with all our festivals. Now there's a huge question we have to ask on this Baal Aturim. Even a little child from the Seder experience knows about Shisha Sidre Mishnah. There are six orders of the Mishnah, and the Balaturim only refers to five of them here. The Admor, Reb Itchemer of Gur, explains beautifully. He says that only five of the orders are mentioned because they relate to passing down information, instructing. When a parent instructs a child about something, it's a cerebral activity. And that's how Yosef was able to learn from Yaakov about agricultural law, about the festivals, and so on. When, however, it comes to the sixth order of the Mishnah, which is called Tahorot, how to live a life of purity, no person can receive that automatically from previous generations. We need to look into ourselves to derive inspiration from ourselves to lead a pure life. That's something that Yaakov could not give to Yosef, and that's why that's the Seder that is missing. Over many years, I have noticed how there have been people I've come across who come from the finest, most outstanding homes, and yet that is not reflected in their way of life. And on the other hand, I've seen so many extraordinary people who come from backgrounds which they'd probably wish to forget about, and yet, from within themselves, they have reached exceptional levels of human conduct, and they are an extraordinary inspiration for so many others. So when looking for guidance and inspiration in life, often we should just start from within ourselves. Shabbat Shalom.